Hello YouTubers, this is Alan B. Me. And today I'm going to take a look at the newest OS that I installed on my EEPC 900A, which is Jolie Cloud. This is made available by a French company. It's a distribution based upon Ubuntu, but the advantage is that it is web or cloud centric. It allows you to use binary application installing your hard drive as well as take advantage of websites and applications on the internet when you are connected and as the producers of Jolie Cloud say you're already using the cloud if you use Gmail or Facebook or uh, Zoho Office or Google Docs you're already taking a part of the cloud now first of all you see the launcher here it's the standard Ubuntu launcher prior to uh, uh, Lucid Links and 9.10 uh, has the launcher on the left and the directories on the right and I like this a whole lot better it's easy to find things and as you see you have the standard applications in a GNOME uh, Ubuntu setup system monitor system testing Jolie updates in place of Ubuntu updates so let's go ahead and get on the cloud here. You click on this icon and be patient. I'm running GTK record my desktop so things are slow up a tad. So you get to this sign on screen. And you have the option of using Facebook to log in or log in using your username. And I until I get more familiar with the product, I'm gonna keep my Facebook disconnected for right now no need to expose my friends to this until I know exactly how it works um, we look at the different features here the history shows all the things that I've done since I've logged on to uh, or registered for Jolie Cloud for instance I installed documentary or uh, Hulu web app I installed open office calc but then I removed it because I wasn't really thinking about my disk space. I have a 4 gig SSD drive and I also use an 8 gig uh, HCSD drive for my home directory but my SSD drive is kinda cramped so I uninstalled OpenOffice Calc and I'll probably uninstalled OpenOffice Writer once I can figure out a way to remove as many pieces of open office as I can and I'll replace it with uh, Abbey Word. The neat feature of this is the app directory and what I like about this is that you have a combination of binary apps which will run on your hard drive whether you're connected to the internet or not and you have web apps which are cloud apps which you need to have internet access in order to use and it's an interesting combination of both there are lots of programs available for instance here you count one two three four five six twelve apps per page and fifty three pages of apps available combination of web apps and binary apps uh... the web apps are html5 apps and jolie cloud uses Google Chrome as the app engine. Originally they used Prism, Mozilla Prism and Google Gears but now they do everything in um, Google Chrome using the HTML5 uh, Google rendering engine. As you look under the different categories you see some programs that you're familiar with such as Wikipedia but you also see some things that I've never heard of before. And that's the beauty of this is that if you have some free time you can do some exploration of the net to see what's available on the cloud now Celestia of course is a binary app because it's pretty large but some of these others are internet only apps uh, school of everything the Hubble site and we'll look at some pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope, Library of Congress, British Museum, 
front line. On the games, I'm not much of a game player. Normally, I only play solitaire. I'm not sure how a HTML5 solitaire game works, but uh, I may install that later. But they have Quake Live for those who like to shoot them up. Under graphics, uh, I installed the GIMP. I'm used to that as a editor. I also installed uh, Picasa Web Adam web albums and also install the Picasso binary from the uh, Google Picasso website and under internet you have a uh, Gmail app you have Google Chrome they list it to install I think Chromium is the version that's installed now and then uh, you can install regular Google Chrome if you want to Skype is available. Dig app. Under Office, of course, you see the Office Writer, Google Docs, uh, Impress. You have Zoho Writer, a cloud-based writer. Uh, you have the whole Google App Suite, a cloud-based suite. Uh, as far as I know, Google Gears appears in the directories, but I don't believe they use Google Gears anymore. So you have some apps that I'm familiar with and some that I'm not so familiar with. Again, you have Abbey Word available, which I may install once I figure out a way to completely remove OpenOffice. You have DropMind, which is a uh, mind mapping tool. Uh, I use a View Your Mind and also I tried a, a Java-based mind mapper, so I'm pretty used to those. Uh, on the sound and video. You have uh, VLC, Media Player, Boxy. They, Jolie uses the GNOME Movie Player as standard. Uh, you see I'm running uh, Record My Desktop command line version to try to save some space. Let's just see exactly how much activity is going on here. Uh, it seems rather unresponsive doing this demo, but really the resources are relatively low. Record my desktop is right into OGV, which is a uh, compression uh, codec. So you see the uh, CPU. I always wonder. I'm not a, a a hard tech guy, hardware person. I always wonder why it lists two CPUs for the Atom processor. But if we just look at our, our average of these, it's under 50 percent memory, 278 megabytes, no swap. Um, I did notice when I'm s hooked up to the cloud before there was a lot of disk activity, but there's not much now. We look at the CPU percentages: Xorg 17 percent, system monitors uh, resource most resource hungry application now uh, a big improvement over latest releases of uh, Ubuntu which are practically unusable um, I couldn't use lucid link on my netbook netbook uh, it just would stall would freeze up uh, while it was doing something uh, Dubstep is a neat application. It enables you to do your own mixtapes, so to speak. Add different sounds, uh, drums, um, synthesizer. But some of these other apps I never heard of. What is Radio Tuna? You know, what is Stupid Stupaflix? Uh, the NBC library I'm interested in because I like would like to look at some old Saturday Night Live shows if it's possible. So here's a look at Jolie Cloud, a, a great new OS. Probably going to stick around for a while. I really like it.